Data loading in Snowflake can be done in many different ways. It could be via Snowflake Web UI or via SnowSQL CLI or using external stages like S3. What if you have to load many small files or a files with similar structure like a CSV under a partition folder by date or a country at one go from your local machine? Then Snowflake Web UI may not be a suitable candidate. Then you have to use SnowSQL from your local machine along with user stage with additional copy parameter and that's what we are going to learn in this episode. We have already seen how to load data using Web UI and how to use SnowSQL in our last two chapters. We are going to learn and exercise following points in this chapter and everything will be hands on. How to use put command to load many files at one go to user stage. Pattern parameters to run copy command and load the data. Order of file loading if it is an important parameter for you. Monitor file loading using copy history through SnowSight Web UI and when not to use pattern matching parameters and also review the performance best practices. So there are a lot of interesting things to learn about data loading in Snowflake and nobody will teach or explain in such a detail to you. So to learn everything, stick until the end of this video. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this how to load data into Snowflake series for true data professional like you. I am assuming that you already have SnowSQL CLI installed, else you would not be able to practice them in your local environment. You can also download all the SQL script from my website and link is given in the description below. So let's understand the data. We are going to load customer data. The data file has all kind of data types, varchar, number, decimal, date, boolean and timestamp. In this example, we are going to use three different files under a single partition. However, you can apply the same partition mechanism using a regular expression for different kind of use cases or folder structure. So at high level, the process of loading data from SnowSQL to internal user stage looks like this. Use the put command in SnowSQL CLI, place the file to the user stage. Once all the files are in user stage, create a file format and run the copy command to load the data into your target table. So let's see them in action. I am creating a table called customer underscore multiple table. It is exactly the same structure. So my table is created successfully. Let's check. It has no data. I have three data file called customer underscore one dot CSV, two dot CSV and three dot CSV. And before loading those file, let's validate whether my stage location has any data set. So I do not have any data set under my user stage. Good. Now I am going to execute this put command. And in this particular location, I have three customer file and I'm running a one single statement, which will help me to load all the three customer file at one go. And so here it says customer one, customer two and customer three all are loaded. They are exactly the same file having first row as a header and comma as a delimiter. So now I can see I have these three files successfully loaded in my stage location. Let's go back to our SnowSight web UI and first validate whether we have a data set available through SnowSight. Yes, I have this CSV 1, 2 and 3 are available. Good. Now I am going to execute the same copy command where I am going to load data into my customer multiple tables. Everything is same except line number 44 and line number 47. So in the line number 44, I have not specified any file name. I have just given the folder or a context placeholder. And here I have specified a pattern which says pick all the file which ends with extension CSV from this context. Looks good. So let me check whether I have any data set available or not once again. So no data is available. So it says unexpected purge. Let's see what is the issue. So it says copy executed with zero file processed. Since there was a semicolon before the purge, that's why that did not happen. Okay. Let's go and check the information schema.
So I can see all these three files got loaded successfully. Let's go and check the copy history from the table menu. You have to pay attention here. So since we have loaded three files using a single copy command, still it has recorded three different entries in this page. Okay. And if you hover, it says the total three files are loaded. Looks good. And if I look into the location, it says it is a user stage location. So this is how you can load multiple files, which is actually not possible using classic web UI. So this is an advantage with SnowSQL and running a copy command to copy many files at one go using the pattern parameter. Since my purge command was outside of the copy statement, I executed remove statement to remove the file explicitly. This is how you can clean up your user stage location. Before we proceed further, I would like to share something with you. The Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse is the future. It is such a powerful platform with great features that it will eventually replace many legacy data platform. I have been adding many simple and real life scenario based videos and playlists for my audience. So you don't have to buy any expensive courses. All my contents are freely available in this channel. My channel audience are really enjoying them. Your success and your feedback really matters a lot. So don't hesitate to share it. Moving next. So we have seen how to use copy command and associate pattern parameter to load data at one go. However, there are cases where pattern attribute should not be used. For example, if your partition folder has different type of file format as shown here, you have to use different copy commands and the pattern may not work appropriately. Second, if depth of partition is too deep, in that case, the copy command will take longer time to process the data. So if the performance is the key factor rather than using the file pattern attribute. And lastly, if order of file is important for processing the data, you should avoid using pattern attribute as pattern will pick the file in random order and it will corrupt your data. So these are the few edge cases which you need to remember before using pattern attribute in your copy command. Next set of videos will focus on following. Is no SQL CLI behavior when large files are placed using put command and this video will surprise you whether large file upload is possible through the Snow SQL or not. The role of parallel attribute while using the put command. There are many more scenarios to be seen and learned. So keep following this playlist. Thank you for watching and happy learning.